Hi, I'm JD with 3D Systems, and today we're going to show you how to install or replace a material cartridge on the Cube Pro. We'll get started by replacing a cartridge to Bay 1. To install a cartridge, simply go to your Setup menu and press Replace on the touchscreen, and select which cartridge you want to replace. Just as a reminder, the one all by itself is Bay 1, and here's 2 and 3. The print head will now move to the back waste container and heat up in preparation for new filament. Your Cube Pro will now tell you that it's heating the print jet. Remove the thumb screw from the new cartridge before using, but hold on to it. We'll use it for the previous cartridge. The screws keep the material locked down so it doesn't unravel when stored. Pull about 11 inches of new material from the cartridge, then cut off any parts that are chewed up, usually only 2 inches worth. All right, time to pull out the old material. Make sure the tip of your filament isn't kinked or too bendy. Thread the filament under the cartridge clamp bar and into the feed tube. Install the new cartridge from the front of the Cube Pro and into the cartridge bay. Push the filament between the front of the cartridge and the eyelet. Here's why you don't want it to be too bendy. You need to carefully thread the filament all the way up through the tube inside the plastic centipede thing here and where it curves into the print jet. If it gets stuck, don't worry. You have plenty of time. Sometimes it needs a little coaxing or back and forth motion. Keep moving the filament forward until you see it come out through the print jet. You can just see it through the frosted waste container. By now the grippers will have taken hold of the material, which will move out on its own until you're satisfied. Seriously, this will keep going unless you stop it, so don't go out for coffee just yet. Hit the checkbox. Next, you'll be asked to put the cartridge firmly into the bay. Once you hit that check mark, the printer will complete the cartridge installation and then cool off the print jets. Once that's complete, you'll be able to load another cartridge using the same process. Be careful not to thread or push the filament more than an inch or two into the cartridge. Anything further than that, the filament could unspool in the cartridge, causing it to tangle. Well, hope that helps. This is JD with 3D Systems signing off. Now you can have some coffee.